أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته believers إيد فيتل and إيد الله plus the related questions and the right responses to such questions in relation to إيد فيتل and إيد الله first and foremost إيد فيتل is that celebration or if it's إيد prayer is that prayer which is performed after the holy month of Ramadan, which marks the end of fasting period for Muslims. Eid Aloha is that Eid for the sacrifice of animals. Both of them were mandatory up to, up to the period of Imam Muhammad al-Mahdi, and were also necessary to be performed in congregation. However, during this time when Imam Muhammad al-Mahdi is in occultation or gaiba, they are just recommended and be, and can be performed individually. There is no problem with that. To go further, my respected brother or sister, at what time do we perform them from sunrise up to noon? And if someone missed any of these prayers in congregation, then they can be performed individually. There is no problem with that. Another question says, when can they be performed in congregation? If the number of people are above five, then you can select someone among yourselves and lead you. But if the number of people are below five, then each person can perform his prayer individually. There is no problem. Gusulu. You understand, all the ritual bath is highly recommended before the prayers. A lot of rewards because we said that uh, this compulsory and uh, optional and optional ritual bath or gusulus, they wipe off all our sins and increase our sustenance. How can they be performed in these prayers? Idi Aloha and Idi Fitiri. How can they be performed? They have two units. After declaring your intention, for instance, Usalli Salata Idi Fitil or Idi Aloha Kurbatan Allah Ta'ala, that you're performing them for the sake of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala in the first rakat after Alhamdu. You understand? After Alhamdu, another complete surah uh, should be uh, recited. Then after that, then after that, you say five takbiras. Every after takbira, Every after saying that Allah Akbar, you raise up your hands and uh, in Kunut and you say any optional, uh, uh, I mean, and you say any supplication. For instance, Rabbana Atina fi dunya hasana, wa fil akhirati hasana, wa knadaba nan. Then you say another takbira and raise up your hands like that. In the first rakat after surahs, you repeat such takbiras five times. Then after that, you say another takbira, which we can say the sixth takbira, which takes you to ruku, like that. Then in the second rakat or unity, after alhamdu, you recite another complete surah. You understand? Then after that, you say four takbiras. Remember in the first rakat, we said you say five takbiras. And in this unity, the second unit or rakat, you say four takbiras. And every after takbira, you raise up your hands for kunut and you say any other and you say any uh, dua. You understand? For instance, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa kina adhaba nar. You repeat such takbiras four times. Then after that you go and you say another takbira and you go uh, for ruku like that. Then you go down and say and complete your prayer because we said it has five uh, I, because we said it has two uh, rakats. Uh, from there, kindly quote the following, my brother or sister. Uh, it's recommended, it's highly recommended, or it's recommended that in the first rakat, after reciting Alhamdu, you can recite Surat Shamsi, you can recite Surat Shamsi. Then in the second rakat, after Alhamdu, you recite Surat al Oh, after Alhamdu, in the first rakat, you recite Surat Al-A'la. Then the second rakat, after Alhamdu, you recite Surat Shamsi. 
to go further. While reciting them, you must recite them in a louder voice. You understand? Or you, they must be recited loudly. They must be recited loudly. Uh, to go further, uh, then after that, after praying those two rakats, you say to kutuba. To, it has two summonies. You must say two summonies. After praying the two uh, rakats, then you say the two summonies or the two kutubas. Uh, in the first in case maybe you're praying like, uh, uh, in case you're praying Salat uh, Idifitil, automatically the kutuba or the summon will be about in Zakatul Fitri. You understand? It will be about Zakatul Fitri, then plus the dudes to Prophet Muhammad, the Salawat to Prophet Muhammad and his pure lineage. And in case you are praying Salat Idhuha, and in case you are praying Idi Aluha, and in case you are praying Idi Aluha, the summon or the kutuba must be uh, should be about uh, sacrifice and the father is the merits of sacrificing animals. There is another question here, my respected brother or sister. Someone says that in case he sacrifices his slaughters is animal, uh, and after like sacrificing your animal, you can. Uh, Select you, you. You can uh, divide this animal into portions. You you take yours, your portion, and uh, the rest to other people like the needy ones. We have got a lot of rewards. You understand? In case you happen to sacrifice, and in case in case in case you happen to sacrifice, first and foremost, we say this is considered as charity. In case you sacrifice. An animal, because we say the charities, any kind of charity, tamna o sabo eni now an min anwa il bala. You understand? It wards off seventy misfortunes. Seventy misfortunes. The least among them is not suffering from elef elephantiasis or leprosy. Then from there, we also say that when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is speaking about charity. For instance, in Surah Sagab, in verse number 17, he, I, he highly recommends it, that in case you happen to do so, to sacrifice anything to the needy, you give out kind of charity, and others, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, yudha'ifhu lakum, wa yagfil lakum. You understand? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that uh, he forgives us our ugly actions, and he also doubles our sustenance. Whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives our sins, He makes it rain, gives us pious offsprings, turns our ugly actions into good ones, increases our lifespan, among others. We looked at that in Surah Nuh verse number 10 to 12, plus also uh, Surah Hud verse number 3, Surah Furqan verse number 70 to 72, and other verses. After that, someone also asked him, someone also said uh, that in case someone says, Idi Karim, you understand, Idi Karim, or maybe Idi Mubaraka, or Juma Karim, or Juma Mubaraka, is it Bidia? As claimed by the Wahhabis, it's not Bidia. Why? Because all these are blessings which aims at establishing peace among the believers. Remember we said in Surah uh, remember we said in Surah Al-Hujurat verse number 10, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that فَأَسْلِهُ بَيْنَ أَخْوَيْكُمْ that we must establish peace among our souls. Therefore, all these uh, wishings that may be Idi Mubaraka, Juma Karima and others, you're just wishing someone peace. You understand? So the uh, saying so is not in BDR. And you are also praying for one another, something which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also emphasizes in Surah Al-Hashri, verse number 10. So, kindly of allow me to end here for now. Uh, those are some uh, of the issues regarding Idi Fitil and Idi Aloha. For more questions, you can uh, uh, hit our uh, YouTube page, uh, Kaka Fazil Lectures, or Facebook, Kaka Fazil. Kaka, Fazil, or WhatsApp plus 9893657755.